What's up guys, it's your boy Darshkin, and today we're gonna to be talking about Saki Fuwa and should you summon. Now, up front, right, just to get this out of the way for a lot of people, I think that Saki Fuwa is gonna be a really good character. I know that a lot of people are iffy on if they should summon or not because she got changed or whatever you wanna call it as far as seeing to global. I think she's still gonna be a very good character. I think that she's still gonna be perfectly fine, you know, I'm not I look at the other characters that got changed whenever they came to global and I'm not worried I'm still gonna be summoning for Saki Fua. I am still gonna be getting dupes for her I think she's an amazing character and I really like how she plays so I'm getting her now as far as should you summon up front if you want to run an ice team right if that's the team that you're going to be going you probably should get her now disclaimer and I've already talked about this multiple times there is a very, very big chance that Lin drops after Saki Fua. So I don't know if you're free to play or light spender or you spend money or however you need to rearrange your account or your summons, but I'm just telling you now that there's a very high chance that Lin is the next banner. Do what you will with that information. But anyways, like I said, if you are an ice comp user or an ice player like myself, you do want to get Saki Fua. I know there's a lot of speculation and talk that, oh, Mer Meryl might do more damage or Subasa might do more damage. Who knows? Now, if you're asking me and what I think, this is just my speculation, I highly doubt that Meryl or Subasa will do more damage than Saki Fua. Now, if you're talking about a C0 Saki Fua and then like a C6 Meryl, Yes, Meryl might do damage. If you're talking about, and the same thing for Subasa. If you're talking C0 Saki Fua and C6 Subasa, Subasa might do more damage. I don't, I don't entirely know that math. But if we're talking same stars, I highly doubt that they will do more damage than Saki Fua on her team. Right now, as far as that goes, the best team that's going to be for Saki Fua on release is going to be Subasa and frig and the reason why is because you want to get that dps passive which you will be getting from these two units frig is going to be a damage buffer for the ice team with not only well which doesn't really matter about resonance because saki Fu is going to have resonance but frig will um help with that resonance so they will have resonance number one number two her skill does add the 15 percent frost attack as well and on top of that you will you can potentially run her 4k trait if you guys want to her fake 4k trait giving increased frost damage by 24 percent so um just really really good i know a lot of people want to use samir's trait uh as well which is a is, it's a better damage trait but it doesn't give super armor for one and for two um you you can't you don't want to get hit with that so i'm going to use frigs i think frigs is going to be a really nice addition moving on to subasa subasa with her c1 is going to be giving you the ability to get increased stacks of damage with her dash attack and then at c3 you only got to do it one time and then at c5 it'll go up to five stacks so this is going to be um really good for the team in general just a really a lot of good synergy going on there now for those of you that want to run her in her defensive stance or in her tank stance you can opt to switch out Subasa or Frigg for Meryl Meryl is going to allow Saki to have the defense resonance and it's going to enable her to have her defensive or tank stance and if you guys want to go that route and you're looking to be a tank player this is probably going to be one of the best tank teams to have since mark is not coming to the game so with mark not coming to the game he's kind of out of the question you can run these two units and you're going to have a really really good tank team another thing to mention about this as far as frig i know some people skipped frig or you know don't have frig or do who knows but frig is a really really good unit on this team she is not necessarily needed for this team let's say that you skipped frig but you plan on running ice right now you can run saki subasa and then when lin comes out you can run lin subasa saki if you want to or if you're a tank player you don't need frig anyway you're going to be running meryl subasa saki or something to that degree so frig is not necessarily needed on this team depending on how you want to run your team or how you want to do it or your circumstance or situation now like i said there's a high chance lin comes out after saki so you if you if you wanted to run ice but you want lin over saki you can run subasa frig meryl 
and then when Lin comes out, you can run Subasa Merrill Lin, or you can run Frig Merrill Lin, or whatever you want to run. There are a lot of free-to-play answers to running this ice comp. You know, Subasa and Merrill are just two. Like, even though they're free-to-play, they are two of the best SSRs in the game. So just adding Lin to that team, even though it's a free-to-play ice team, quote unquote, it's still gonna be a very, very good team for you to run. Also, I want to talk about Alice for a little bit, and I have some gameplay on my channel and stuff if you guys want to check Alice out. But Alice, apparently, as far as CN, I've, I've, I've asked a bunch of different people, including Gadio, and I've watched his stream and other people's, you know, videos and stuff. Alice is apparently taking Frig's spot on the ice team. So on CN, the current ice team is Alice, Lin, and Saki Fua. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be how it is on Global, but as far as CN, that is the case. So even if you do miss Frigg, and even if Frigg doesn't get a rerun, which she should get a rerun before Alice, but y'all know how fast Global is going. So we, we're not entirely sure if we're going to get any reruns. We could just potentially speed run banners until we catch up to CN because that's what they said they wanted to do. So if Alice does come out before Frigg gets another rerun, you could potentially just summon on Alice. And then at that point, you don't even have to get Frigg unless you like Frigg or want Frigg because of whatever reason. So uh, as far as all of the ice stuff goes, there you guys have it as far as should you summon for Saki or wait for Lin or if you should skip because you want to run this team or run that team or whatever the case may be. There you go. As far as anyone that's outside of the ice team, Saki doesn't have as much value on those teams outside of being a tank. And what I mean by that is, let's say you, you really like Saki, but you're not planning on running ice comp. Right? Like, let's say you're running fire comp or you're a Huma player or you want to be a tank player or whatever. The thing about that is you can run Saki with someone like Huma. You know, if, you, if you're a tank player and you want to run, you just really like Huma or whatever, you can run that for, you know, fire comp, uh, not fire comp, but tank comp. Or let's say you're a healer player and you just want to put a cool unit as your third, right? You want to like Nemesis Coco or something and then you want to run, run a third. You can run Saki. Saki will give Coco the resonance. So that's going to be really cool. But for the most part, outside of the ice teams and things that I've already mentioned, Saki's not going to be the biggest uh, help or difference or change as far as those go. So as far as should you summon, first and foremost, it is completely up to you. I'm not your parent. I can't tell you what to do. But... If you are looking to run an ice team, I think Saki is going to be a very, very big addition to the team comp. But if you guys want Lin more than Saki, you should wait to see if we're getting Lin next and then do that. Now, I'm going to be summoning. I'm going to be damage testing and all of these things so you guys can see exactly how good she is, etc., etc., etc. So if you guys just want to wait for all of that information, be my guest. But yeah, as far as all that goes, there you guys go. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.